Hey, this is Blind Sally, and welcome back to Dead Space the Third. Today I'm joined by Nine Gear Crow and C. Jacobs. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's like I said, you take the reins differently every time. I am impressed. The lack of two of this Let's Play hovering over our shoulder, guiding our hand. You're like Altman Jr. yourself, my friend. Welcome, everybody. I gotta say, I love the ominous and yet calming of the tram. For me, it's the horribly disorienting shimmy shake it does down that goddamn track. Like, it was disorienting the first time around when we were playing the game, and now just watch it back. It's even more terrifying. I like the little Star Wars trench run video. That thing was great. I... Welcome, everybody, to the <laughs> aft stage, the ass end of the Terra Nova at the ass end of the universe. It stinks. We are ready to squirt out some torques, get our day started. Uh, Crow heading in to pick up the collectibles. We've got some of our own here. Altman Jr. Wama momming himself over here at the top of the stairs. Yeah, get getting some delicious and nutritious uh, scrap and salvage from that torque bar. And I'm still giggling at the squirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you need those pills for. I, I'm just imagining uh... that that's what Carver eats. He's like a goat. In the space future, the man can just chow down on anything. He has not had a solid shit in five years. Ugh. What do you think the torque bars are for? They're not just full of alkaloid metal. They're also nutritious. They're all, they've also got granola. That happened to me once. <laughs> ah! Oh boy, speaking of granola, these fellas have had their Wheaties. Found their way to the app station while we were busy fucking around with Tucker yeah. Edwards. Oh, don't, don't worry, we, we can fix that, generally by uh, removing their knees and uh, other uh, linking appendages. Uh, we, no, we can't. Their knees are going to come back. That's kind of, that's kind of an issue now, isn't it? Honestly, you, you see a problem, me, I see an opportunity. It just means you can remove their knees a fuck ton as many times as you need to. You know what, fair enough. You're getting into that John Carver mindset. I do appreciate the continuity of, like, we fled from them, and in, in some games you think, like, oh, I got in the uh, the door, like Resident Evil 2, I've gone through the door, I'm, I'm fine, I'm safe. Um, and then, bam, here they are. They followed, slowly. The tram was faster, but they're here. They didn't forget about you. Yes, indeed. They, they had to use the vents, and it echoes the hunter pursuing you across the Ishimura's decks in Dead Space 1. After it unfreezes, it takes a while, but oh boy. Oh, it's got a burning passion for Isaac Clark. <laughs> Love it. I really need to change that to say some guy as the artist, yeah. because I think everybody knows who composed this song. A bunch of black musicians. And then Elvis. And then Elvis after that. Secondary only to Led Zeppelin. Speaking of a Led Zeppelin, the Crozier's here, everybody. Welcome to the aft station. Woo. We need to put together the pro. And it's a real piece of shit. <laughs> it is not a piece of shit. They've been saying that for this entire game, and I don't know how you could describe it as that. I mean, I just had to get it out of the way before Sally did, so. Oh. <laughs> hey, someone left the radio on. I like the music choice here, though. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Although it is quite apropos for this room's original purpose. Oh, I love those leapers jumping across the nose cone of the Crozier to get over there to Crow, who's dealing with the whole supply of necromorphs. Turns out they have a hive over there. Yeah, so we, we mentioned this uh, earlier in a couple of videos about like how weirdly or unweirdly, I suppose, like, given if you're playing this on co-op mode, uh, they increase the number of necromorph spots that you have to fight, and holy fuck am I dealing with all of them right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> And here comes my favorite 10 seconds of video in the whole LP. This is the ethos of Dead Space 3. We're guarding each other on opposite sides of this railing. Nice. This game rules. I love this game. Think about how hard it was for us to separate. We had to take that slow, clunky-ass lift and plan for this. And oh boy. 
Yeah, Crow's getting all the enemies. Yeah. You brought this on yourself, Crow, for shit talking Crozier. Uh, <laughs> also, did we put together in the past LP that Crow, Crozier? Uh, that, that That's what I'm saying, Crow. Yeah. You're a real piece of shit. Dissing on this fantastic machine here. Also, did, did you see that amazing shot that I did getting that uh, grenade canister into the vent and then it blew up? Yeah, that's pretty good. You redeemed yourself after all those grenade ah. drops and toes up. He's better at arcing it. He's better at arcing it this time around. Yeah, Crow is nothing if not a master of managing explosives. <laughs> He's got stasis to fix his mistakes. <laughs> Well, there's... Uh, after you shoot the explosive, you can't really fix that mistake. Back in the day, we called this the Loud Room in the original LP. And perhaps you can see why, now that... Now that the lovely... Now that the lovely song playing on the speakers is... Full of exploders, full of leapers, and it's the perfect room for them! Multi-layered catwalks? Lots of parts to run around like a chicken with your head cut off and collect? I love this in co-op. It's so much more frantic than in single player. The directional sound is great in this room, though. Like, Oh, it's awesome! Now, now that it, my speakers aren't peaking, this is great. Oh, I love I love that the... It just, it, again, I've learned how to volume balance in the past eight years, but <laughs> oh boy, Crow, look out! Oh god. And of course, it's, yeah, it never rains but it fucking pours. I love how between fights it gets so quiet, just so quiet in here, such that when the volume starts, it really kicks up. Things really kick up a notch! <laughs> <laughs> nice, tasteful edit, uh, so we don't see Crow get dismembered. Thank you. I mean, I survived, I think. He's fine down there. Part found. Yeah. Crow's limb. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, like, we, we were talking about, like, yep. Fuck that piece of shit. There's the real piece of shit in this video. But anyways, we were, so we were talking about, yeah, just the layout of this room, and, like, it's unfortunate that, like, the rest of the game sort of isn't like this. Like, they put a lot of, like, thought into, like, the co-op aspects of uh, this room here. But, yeah, like, you don't really get many more opportunities uh, no. across the game to, like, have, like, these multi-storied areas you can go through and go not only horizontally across but vertically across as well like god i i really do wish there were more rooms like this that just conceptually you could see another guy in the dead space world doing dead space work these games are about isolation and we're still isolated we're on opposite sides of the catwalk i do have to shout crow help over here <laughs> meanwhile hey, time works. for some amateur brain hey, surgery Okay, hang on. I feel like they, they managed up. really, really well to uh, keep that separation. No good. It's out of fuel. Oh, wait, there should be a refueling station on the upper floor. Here, I'm sending you the coordinates. Okay. I'll head up and refuel the shuttle. We can try restarting it after that. It's out of fuel, too. Maybe you were right. Maybe the Crozier is a piece of shit. It's like I said, this thing looks like it's prepped for brain surgery. I love the design of the Crozier. The way it's got this blue sheet over its head, like the blue sheet they put over, I don't know, cancer patients, over people who are having like uh, surgery on their occipital uh, co uh, occipital cortex, the back of your skull. Yeah. Like the, there is literally a hole, a hole in the top of this thing's skull. It's awesome the way it's like humanized in the strangest way. Or like what what it really reminds me of is uh, when the Ishimura shows up in Dead Space 2, how like it's got basically like all like the the like hospital like medical quarantine like papering all over it, like all, like basically like like you were saying like it is uh, like like they were literally trying to just patch up like a wounded limb. Only yeah, it's the the insides of the starship yeah, really? after like that. That horrible like bio horror occurred all throughout it. For sure. But yeah, no, like I I'm just wondering about like the, the visual storytelling about like because like yeah, you see like the crozier, it's all duct taped up, so like I'm assuming like it must have gotten a hell of a lot of use uh, by the scaff. Oh the hull looks all burnt up from whatever how many like atmosphere re entries it's got there. Mm. And it's missing an engine too. The the thing has seen a whole hell of a lot of use. That missing engine must be why it's here to be repaired. According to the game's lore, there were originally two. That mule at the start of the game. Remember Tim and Sam from the prologue? Oh yeah. Uh, 
The mule was the other crozier, meant for distributing materials amongst the fleet and then taking them down to the planet. Well, uh, bad news. The crozier's not so good at that right now. We'll get it back in ship shape. <laughs> Just kidding. It can never be put back in ship shape. Nice. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, like, the nice detail about, like, the mule from uh, the start of the game, like, it actually had a set of wings and, like, actual jet turbines on the bottom of it, one of which, like, Tim and or Sam has to, like, shoot and slide their way through, yeah. Nice mm -hmm. propaganda. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cl climb that ladder. And, yeah, like, you will notice, like, the crozier is kind of be bereft of uh, that little detail. Yes, so you can kind of tell the intent of the machines based on what they've got equipped on them. Crow! Crow boy! Man. Hello. I could see him through the glass, but it was too late! What, what are those guys called again? Are those the feeders, whatever? Wasters? Wasters, feeders... Uh, they have a couple of different names, actually. Yeah. I call them wasters because of what I mentioned. They waste your Wasting ammo. ammo yeah. Oh, nice axe toss. Hell yeah! Go full of my bloody balance. They finally started carrying weapons that we could pick up with Kinesis. Earlier, they were just attacking us with their own greebly limbs, but now they dropped their axes, which we can pick up while we're uh, waiting for the crozier. I, I do like that they're uh, like a little bit of art design. They've been uh, sitting around here for so long, they're, they're pretty dry compared to a lot of other Dead Space enemies. Bit, bit mummified. Yes, they muted the body horror a lot in this game, and I actually like that a lot. The mummified scaff enemies really fit this game's tone, its atmosphere of decay, the slow okay, decay of the human fall. race. Try Dusty again. ass looking That's necromorphs. Like okay, I'm initiating Dusty a test fire of the shuttle's yeah. engine. Take cover. This could get hot. Are we welding the. Oh, that's the fuel. Yeah. Yeah, no, Ellie is. I was, uh, was going to make a tree panning oh, comment. Wait, on the, uh, uh, Isaac, I think I just started the launch sequence and I don't know how to stop it. You what? Let's just get out of that chamber <laughs> before it makes you uh, crazy. Yeah, so Ellie is uh, accidentally trying to kill us now. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go, go, go. That's kind of unfortunate. Hi, uh, Crow, I'm glad you made it to the elevator on this recording tape. Same here. There was one where he sure didn't, and I left without uh, him. Quick, stasis the flames. Fuck this. In a few moments, we're gonna look a lot like these guys if we don't get the hell out of here. Oh, I love it. I love Crow making a break for it past the enemies. I mean, yeah, no, I've, I've had to rely on you for this whole video, so yeah, I don't trust you anymore. He's got his priorities in order. He held his own on this one. Meanwhile, Isaac. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, he's stunned. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. The suit is flame retardant. I'm an engineer for a reason. Oh my god, they're back. It took like a single chunk of health. That was, uh, yeah. that was nothing. Oh, oh, that's because I was mashing the heal button. Okay. Usually you can't survive that, but thankfully you can jam that healing gel into your spine. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, at, at least the man screamed out the right name as to who was responsible for all of this. <laughs> oh, God, and this is just getting more and more dire. It's getting more dire all the time. Woo! You see that dodge roll? Uh, hey, the hangar doors are kind of having a problem over there. And the clamps on the front are still attached, but we're gonna need to explode pretty much the entire Terra Nova to get the hell out of here. I mean, is... yeah, considering what it's put us through up to this point, fuck yes, let's do it. I was gonna say, screw this place. I gotta say, also, it's been lovely to have Crow on the left for a video. Isn't it? Isn't it lovely <laughs> to see Crow on the left? Ah! It's weirdly disorienting, but, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> I love this set piece. Oh, uh, they just keep coming. Yeah, he sneaks up on you for an eight-foot-tall monstrosity. It's so stealthy. Oh, oh god. god! That's what you get, Crow. We both get a turn to be charmed. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a shame that Carver doesn't have any lines, but he also screams out Ellie for Ellie's name for no reason to put in there. <laughs> I wish he did. I kind of wish he did. The shuttle launches before it opens! Son of a bitch! Alright, I'll check the gears. Crow didn't. Crow, uh, hold the elevator, I'm on my way! Once again, I love that you can get separated! 
and I love that it can cause these situations where you have to cover each other while you reconnect. I love that you can get separated, and also that the enemy can get separated. Hey, it fits perfectly. It's thematic. Once again, this hangar cannot possibly be any more on fire. The doors themselves are on... Okay, well... <laughs> You were saying? Yeah, never mind. I, hey, Isaac, look alive, buddy. Yeah, the, the hangar's not more on fire, just I am. <laughs> Bro, you, you've sacrificed uh, your inability to throw grenades um, for an inability to dodge flames. I have no more nerve endings left. Help. Once again, the suit completely flame check. retardant. System check complete. Isaac wore some of that for Dead Space 2, or wore it for some of Dead Space 2, you know what I mean. He knows full well. So what, is it just tickling him when he's dancing? Yes, exactly. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> oh good lord. Something wedged in the gears. Are you serious? Like Thanks, tips. I'm gonna try to clear it. Oh, look at Carver rushing for the machine gun. He knows exactly what to do here. Son of a bitch. As if this couldn't get any worse, a turret sequence in a Dead Space game. They've never oh. had those before. Welcome to Mass Effect 3, ladies and gentlemen. Also, neat, neat little detail on uh, on my screen as we, I kind of ran past the turret. Uh, the, uh, the number markings on this area, you can kind of see it uh, on the ground there, but... Uh, this section is marked K1A. Very good. KIA. Yeah. Very, very good. I love that we're blowing away regenerators with shots this powerful. I wish there was more scaff ordnance to use. Here they come! And here we have our revenge! Na, 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 na. Ah, Just go. so you know, there was a turret sequence in the first Dead Space game. It's no stranger. And, uh, Pro and I do get sucked out the window here at the same time. You can see the Crozier there in the background taken off if you look close. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you can also see Crow there in the background. Are you okay? Uh, ah! whoop. You did it! He did yes! it! We did it! <laughs> Thanks, He's Isaac. Fine. Way to go, Isaac. Hey, you did everything, you Isaac. You did it, Isaac! Isaac, we'll see you when you get back. Go, Isaac Clark! Yeah! Uh, Isaac, Isaac, so good. Oh man, Isaac, you're such a hero. You're winning back Ellie's affections. Look at you. Ah, uh, showing that Norton who's boss. Yeah. Yeah, Carver, stop fucking around. Yeah, Carver, what are you doing lagging behind back there? Why weren't you helping me with that turret? Yeah, hey, why can't you be like Isaac? Yeah, just get a little bit more ahead of me. I'm just lining up a decent <laughs> shot here. <laughs> Uh, what? Am I a member of your family now? <laughs> oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. God, that fucking <laughs> cold as ice, motherfucker. Oh, I just committed murder. <laughs> I didn't... I, I just didn't know we'd grown that close already. Hey, oh. Carver, there is one more <laughs> ship among the fleet that we could go and raid, actually. Crow and Sally didn't get to see it last time because I handled it with the mad Welshman Jamie the D. Aw, oh, shit. It's the Bruce Aw, oh, shit. Maybe on the next video we'll go and check it out. Maybe we'll find some parts for the Crozier along the way. Piece of shit. So, how's the shuttle look? Yeah, this thing needs more than plating. It's missing the port engine. There's a small wreck near the Greeley. It could be a shuttle. We should check it out. All right, Rosen, lock, suit up. You're on engine duty. But, sir, my legs... Yeah, I'm not asking you to do jumping jacks. Now get moving. All right. Hey, Rosen, I'll meet you there. Whatever. Whatever. Speaking of real pieces of shit. You know, it's funny. Last time around, I kind of agreed with Isaac that Rosen was being a bit of a bitch. But given what we've just asked Rosen to do on a broken leg... I can see why it's going to take them the entirety of the Bruce Alaw video to go get that port engine ready. I'll see you all next time when we check out Dead Space's first co-op side mission. Give our buddy Carver some time in the spotlight. This is where the this is where the video 
jumps to the end slate, so the video's kind of over now. So I figured, yeah. Yeah, if, um, you get, if you got anything, like, clever or funny, like, if you want to say anything, like, oh, funny to put here... And leave yeah. all of this audio in. The, uh, the spotlight was actually when Carver roasted alive. Sorry, Carver. <laughs> Don't use that. No, perfect. Ah! <laughs>